Many company vehicles are fitted with an Axtec onboard axle load indicator, which shows the axle and total vehicle weights. Axle overloads are just as serious as overloading the whole vehicle. The display shows you the axle and total vehicle weights in green up to 80% of payload, in amber above 80% and in flashing red at maximum and overloaded. If any of the figures appear in red, you must not drive the vehicle on the road. The indicator should be viewed when the vehicle is standing on flat level ground. Whilst travelling, the axle loads will be influenced by the effect of braking or cornering and an overload may be caused momentarily. This is normal and no cause for concern. The system's calibration should be checked 6 months after installation and then every 12 months. You can do this yourself. Just check the loaded calibration by comparing the indicated weight for each axle with a weigh bridge. The best way is to weigh the loaded truck on a public dynamic axle weigh bridge. There is one at Axtec at Runcorn and a list of others is available by emailing info at axtec.co.uk. You could also use a public weigh bridge. You should be able to get details from the trading standards department of your local council. Ideally, you need to check the axle weights as well as the total weight. You can check the axle weights on an axle weigh bridge or a plate weigh bridge with level approaches so that the wheels off the plate are level with those on the plate. It's best to drive as far as possible onto the weigh bridge plate and leave the axle not being weighed close to the plate but just off it on level ground. In order to accurately measure axle weights in this way, you need to make sure that all brakes are released after stopping the vehicle. The indication on the weigh bridge for each axle weight should match the indicator in the truck to within two divisions, the increments that the indicator counts in. These are normally set to 20 kilos for 3.5 tonne vehicles. It's a good idea to record the results, both the axle weights as shown by the weigh bridge and also as shown by the Axtec on board axle load indicator. If the results are within tolerance, that's fine, there's nothing else to do. If the results are more than 20% in error, there is probably a fault, so please call Axtec on 01928 581 575 for advice. If the results are not within tolerance, but not more than 20% in error, the zero may just need to be reset. Again, you can do this yourself. There is a simple procedure as follows. First, park the empty vehicle on level ground. There must be no load in it, no passengers, no heavy tools or equipment, just yourself in it. The display should show the empty truck with its axle and total weights as they were when it was new. The pallets of bricks shown on the screen indicate the load being carried. There should be no bricks visible when the vehicle is completely unloaded with just the driver on board. If there are pallets of bricks showing on the back of the truck, the system needs to be zeroed. Just check, there must be no load, equipment, tools, straps, passengers, nothing but yourself. To re-zero the system, place your finger on the bottom left corner of the screen when you should hear a beep. Without taking your finger off the screen, slide it across to the right hand bottom corner when you will hear another beep. Keeping your finger on the screen, slide it back to the bottom left corner when you will hear a third beep. When you take your finger off the screen, you will see a keypad. Key in the password 3418 followed by the green tick to confirm. Press the quick set button, press diagnostics once to turn on, press return, press exit. You will now see the usual weighing screen with the truck and the axle weights, but also in small font, there will be lots of other information. For each axle, check the raw weights, third line down. If any reading is at zero, or fluctuating excessively by hundreds of counts, there's a fault. 
call Axtech on 01928 581 575 for advice. The readings should be between 15,000 and 30,000 counts for steel suspension. If not, there's a fault. Call Axtech on 01928 581 575 for advice. If all the readings are within the ranges stated and steady to a few counts, follow these simple steps. Enter the setup screen using password 3418, then press the green tick. Press quick set. Press zero. When asked, are you ready to zero the system? Press yes. Press return. Press exit. The green figures on the screen should now match the unladen weights shown on the top line of the small diagnostics table to the nearest whole increment, usually 20 kilograms. If they don't, repeat the process. When they do, turn the ignition off and on again to clear the diagnostic display and check the weights are showing correctly on the screen. We recommend you check your Axtec onboard axle load indicator six months after installation then every 12 months to keep it within tolerance. Next, check the loaded calibration by comparing the indicated weight for each axle with a weighbridge, as described earlier. The indication on the weighbridge for each axle weight should match the indicator in the truck to within two divisions the increment that the indicator counts in. These are normally set to 20 kilos for 3.5 tonne vehicles if not, call Axtech on 01928 581 575 for advice.